hello friends how are you i hope you are well today in this video i am going to explain the mirror formula this formula has a wide range of applications both in 10th class as well as in plus 2 or intermediate level so so far as 10th class is concerned now the derivation does not come in the exam but it is important point and so far as our telangana syllabus is concerned in the textbook also this derivation is there so before knowing its applications it is better to know its derivation so what is this mirror formula in fact it is a it is a mathematical relation between object distance So this formula establishes a relationship between object distance, image distance, and focal length of a spherical mirror. So I can write that one by a is equal to one by u plus one by v, or you can say that one upon focal length. Is equal to one upon object distance plus one upon image distance. So the mirror formula is a relationship. It is a mathematical relationship between object distance, image distance, and focal length. So let us start the derivation. See here. how to find this formula. One by f is equal to one by u plus one by b. This is incident ray, this is reflected ray. Here, both the reflected rays are meeting one point. Suppose here A, B is the object. 
the image of the point A will be here because the light rays coming from the point A after reflects on both the rays are meeting at this point. That means this point is the intersection of the two reflected ray. I have written that is A dash. Now I am drawing the perpendicular from this point A dash to this principal axis. This point is the B dash. That means the image of a B is at the point B dash. To get a real image, we need at least two reflected rays should meet at a point on this screen. So this is the incident ray, this is the reflected ray because we know that if a ray passes parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the focus and if a ray incident at the pole after reflects it reflects by making same angle with the principal axis which angle made by the incident ray that means here b a p and b p a dash both are equal these two angles are equal so now we got a dash b dash is the real image so a b is the object so in this figure a b stands for the object a dash b dash is the image now from object to here is the object sorry here is the image from image to pole this distance is called image distance the object here is the object object to pole this is called the object distance the focus focus to pole is called focal length and c to p c to p this distance is called radius of curvature this is two times of the focal length so let us move towards the derivation this is the figure i have drawn to explain the mirror formula which is 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by b now one more line i am taking Okay. See here. So this is the point C. This is one more incident ray. You know that if a ray passes through the center of curvature, it will reflect along the same path but in opposite direction. But in opposite direction. Some clarity is not coming. Okay. We manage. Okay, see. So this is the incident ray, this is also reflected ray. Now you see that triangle A dash B dash F and triangle A dash B dash C both are similar triangle. See triangle. A, B, C similar to triangle A dash B dash C in these two triangles. See, triangle A, B, C similar to triangle A dash B dash C. Why? Because these two angles are equal these two angles are vertically opposite in two triangles if their two angles are two corresponding angles are equal 
then compulsory is third angle will be equal in these two triangles a b c and a dash b dash c these two angles are 90 degree these two are vertically opposite angles these two are also alternate angles that means these two triangles are similar anyhow these two triangles are similar we know that in two similar triangles the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal so i can say that a dash b dash upon a b means height of the image to the height of the object is equal to b dash c upon b c so b dash c i can write in place of b dash c i can write p c p c minus PC minus PB dash from here to here and subtracting the distance PB dash and in place of a BC I can write PB minus PC why I have written I will explain now don't worry so here I can write P to C P to C it is called the radius of curvature p to c is the radius of a curvature so how i sum radius of curvature p to c is the radius of curvature i am writing minus r why i am writing minus r because everything according to cartesian sign convention everything should be measured from the pole of the mirror so i am measuring p to c pole to center of curvature radius of curvature opposite to the incident ray so in place of r i use minus r minus p b dash p to b dash this is called the image distance so image distance denoted by v here to here is v here image distance also right i shall write minus b the reason is that p to b dash it is against the direction of a incident ray so in place of plus b i am writing minus b next one here p b p to b is the object distance so i have to write minus u p to b is the object distance minus u minus p to c p to c is the radius of curvature i can write here minus r or i can write that minus r plus v divided by minus u plus r i hope that you might have understood this Minus R plus B plus sorry divided by minus U plus R. I used here Cartesian sign convention. Here to here is the image distance V. Here to here is the object distance U. Okay, and P to C that is the radius of curvature. I have written R, which is equal to two. a letter i can convert it okay so this is one equation this is one equation second one you see that triangle a b p a b p similar to triangle a dash b dash p a dash b dash p so 
these two triangles A B P and A dash B dash P both are similar triangles. If it is similar triangles, I can say that ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So it is better. I shall write here. I hope that in the down might have might have not appearing. So I am writing here. So in this case, in these two triangle A B P and A dash B dash P, I can say that A dash B dash upon A B is equal to P B dash divided by P B. P to B dash is image distance. I can write this is minus B because I am measuring from P to B dash opposite to the direction of a incident ray. Divided by P to B, similarly this is minus U, this is equal to V by U. Before that, one equation I got that is A dash B dash upon A B is equal to minus R by plus B upon minus U plus R. Now I got A dash B dash upon A B is equal to V by U. That means here is A dash B dash upon A B. Here is A dash B dash upon A B. So from equation one and two, what I can say? I can say that minus R plus V divided by minus U plus R. Is equal to v by u. Okay. Now we'll do the cross multiplication. We'll do the cross multiplication. So I can say that minus r u plus v u is equal to minus. Minus R U plus V U is equal to minus V U plus V R. Okay. Now I can say that. V U plus V U is equal to R U plus V R. Okay. Now two V U is equal to R U. R is two times of a F. So I can say that. 2 fu plus 2 fb. Now both sides you divide by u bf. 2 bu by u bf is equal to 2 fu by u b. F this is equal to Two, sorry, two F B upon U B F. So here two is common. So here F F cancel, U U cancel, F F cancel, B B cancel, U B U B cancel. How much left? Two upon F. Is equal to two by v plus two by u. Both sides, if I take common to cancel, one by f is equal to 
1 by q plus 1 by v. So, this is the mirror formula which shows the relationship between object distance, image distance and focal length. So, I have explained it with the help of a concave mirror and by taking the object beyond the center of curvature by with the help of real image. These things also possible to prove by tapping, taking the object in different positions. It may be at C, it may be between F and C. At the same time, it is also possible to explain with the help of convex mirror. But so far in the 10th class is concerned, your applications of this mirror formula is important. So that's why I explain through one ray diagram that is by the help of concave mirror. So I hope that you might have understood this video clearly. So in my next video, I shall try to explain numerical problems related with this mirror formula. Until then, bye.